波動の急所を置く一等火葬。Alright, what's going on, guys? f u b b l e s back again, coming to the showcase on the new Lisa. Now, if you showed up on stream, you already know what happened. And、uh, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Max Transcended T20 Lisa. Aitesh t u a r u So,、uh, as you see here, she is a Soul Reaper Hollow with a Quincy Killer. Still, I don't like the Quincy Killer, and I still find it funny that people are trying to justify Quincy Killer with the animes coming back. You know what else people try to justify? Human Killer, what's still been garbage for the last three and a half years. So, As you see here, Quincy Killer is doo doo, but she does have a lot of damage multipliers on her, which is actually really, really, really good. We have the level 3 SP, strong attack recharge minus 12%. Going into her skills,、um, actually, hold up. Going into the T20, we do have s p i r i t u a l pressure 30, 30, 30 across the board. And then on top of that, we do have the hybrid links of Shinji, Rose, as well as the Chad with damage inflicted at full stamp 25%, and a strong attack recharge minus 12%. For the bonus abilities,、uh, we are going to be giving. Her、uh, just straight up, just raw, big fat PP damage, so full stam as well as damage to lacerated enemies. Honestly,、um, I did play with her at one out of five, and I do actually genuinely like maybe like long stride because I do feel like she's a little bit slow since she doesn't have any lunges or anything like that, despite being a melee character, which I think is fine because I don't really like lunges all that much. I wish her second strong attack was the lunge that Love got, which is like Yamamoto's, but. Her first strong attack is the 1200 by 1200 shotgun like blast, which is、uh, pretty good, but it doesn't have anywhere near the reach of a normal like 3000 length beam, for example. Either way, it's still a good strong attack, in my opinion. Definitely better than a lunge. Second strong attack is going to be the 750 by 750. If you're familiar with Bankai Shuhei, our book Ichigo's first strong attack, it is a pretty good second strong attack, but it does hold you in place for quite a bit. Except I do believe that Lisa's feels a bit faster, but it might just be because I, it, it might be new character syndrome, right? Her third strong attack is going to be a standard full screen third strong attack, special move. All of her attacks, except for her NAD, do have paralysis and last rate, which is really good. Damage to last rated enemies plus 40%, sprinter plus one, guard break, bruiser 20%, berserker 40%, devastation 40%, reduce strong attack cooldown for her link, full stamina damage boost 50% thanks to the chat and the T20, havoc 20%, frenzy, debilitator plus five seconds. Damage to last rated enemies plus an additional 40% on top of the innate skill one, so 80% total. Increased mind attribute character strong attack damage plus 20%, so a buff to all your mind units, which is awesome. Increased status element chance against heart attribute enemies. So, disable her as long as she has attribute advantage, she does not have to worry about、um, being, a, she doesn't have to worry about having killer, which is really good. And then, on top of everything that I just said, she also has status element spiritual pressure boost plus 80%. I'm not gonna lie, the damage to last year to enemies plus 40%, pretty good. She still has devastation, so you, it's not like Shinji where you have to like rely on the damage to confusion for the special move. But she also has Berserker 40%, the damage to last rate enemies plus 80% thanks to the T20, full stamina damage boost 25% from the T20 built into the character. We also have the strong attack damage up mind attribute characters for all mind attribute characters in your party by 20%. And,、uh, and yeah, and, and then to, to top it all off, we have Frenzy. And then the. If that wasn't enough, the status on the special pressure boost 80%. So let's see exactly what kind of damage numbers we can put out.、Uh, we'll take her into IT, see how she does there, and then on top of that, we'll take her into IZ and see the baseline numbers that we get. Now, keep in mind that these enemies do have Iron Guard, but she sh really shouldn't have a problem.、Uh, I didn't have a problem in the 1 out of 5, so I don't really see any issues with a 5 out of 5. And yeah, so、uh, let's see here. I guess I have it right there. Boom, boom. Full boosters. Let me, yeah, let's do the times five run, get it down another way using two link slot characters. Good. All right. <clears throat> oh, dude, this is exciting.、Uh, now, for those that did watch the stream, th this is not my account. This is my boy Absolute K's account, so shout out to my boy Absolute. <laughs> And first strong attack, boom, boom. As you see there, I think we dealt 71,000 damage to that guy over there. I think what I'm going to do is I want to proc the last rate. Keep in mind, these enemies are immune to.、Um, they're immune to paralysis. So I wanna. Oh my lord, I'm just getting bad RNG. Yeah, there we go. First strong attack. 75,000 damage, okay. Bet, bet, bet. That's pretty good. Okay. Oh, the stupid underground people, bro. 
I, I, I don't like these mole people, but I don't want to put a Zeta Ball. It, it'll, it'll be quicker runs, sure, but I'm trying to see these numbers, baby. No, no. Oh my god, I don't want to get hit, though. 85,000 with the third strong attack now that we actually, like... I don't want to get frozen. Whatever. 62,000, it did proc. So she does proc very easily, thanks to the Disabler. I really hope that more characters get this um, ability, the increased status element chance against the uh, attribute, adv attribute advantage, because the affiliation, I feel like it kind of locks characters out of a ton of content. Like Bankai Ikone, I'll never use him outside of uh, Soul Reaper enemies. And God forbid the enemies are immune to weakening, then he's completely useless. Like, <laughs> boom boom. All right, so I kind of want, I want to lose the spiritual pressure boost real quick, so I can reapply it and then use my soul bomb. Oh, that sucks. I want to see what kind of special move damage we're dealing here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that, procced immediately. We got one guy lacerated on the bottom left. I mean, on the bottom right. So we got to be careful with the numbers. Boom. 198,000 damage. Uh, actually, I did, in fact, screenshot that as well. Do this. Okay, so we did screenshot uh, the stuff. So I opened up Microsoft Paint. And as you see here, we dealt 500... Excuse me. Oops. We dealt uh, 51,000 damage to the normal enemies with Iron Guard. We did 198,000 damage on the Ulkiora. And on this Aronkar enemy that was lacerated, we dealt 365,000 damage. Because he uh, he lost his Iron Guard, right? So we're just dealing massive damage. So let's uh, take the damage that we got on the Ulkiora. That should be about accurate. So 198,000 damage. Let's uh, multiply by 1.6. Let's just assume that Kayla, for some god awful reason, decides to make a Quincy IT because they are douches like that, right? Now, after this, we give them Lacerate, not even taking into account the damage that we get for them pinging and bleeding all over the floor with the Laceration. We're going to get uh, multiply this by 1.8 for the damage to Lacerated enemies, and that will give us multiply by 3 plus 316,800. 2.0, like 2. 02 million damage with just Lisa's soul bomb. Now this is without attention tie. This is without like um this is without a lot of full stamina damage. This is with a Chad link, right? Like this is the same Kaimon Chad, the full stamina damage boost 25%, devastation 40%, the damage to lacerated enemies taking into giving being put into play, and the spiritual pressure boost 80%. So keep in mind that there is a lot of damage multipliers being put onto this character, which makes this character, in my opinion, absolutely beefy. Now, if I take her into IZ, we can actually see just the baseline damage, which should be roughly that 365,000 damage that we saw on that one guy, right? Um, yeah, we'll just do a times one run. Don't really need to burn tickets. Okay, so. Aiteshtuarua. All right, so let's uh, see if we can, uh, oh, I think they die in like one hit. Yep, yeah, they die in like one hit, bro. Like, I have to like be very careful. Pop. Pop. No! Whatever. I want to see what you do. Pop. 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 Can we, would you pl please? There we go. 47,000 compared to the 28,000. So that's roughly an 80% increase, right? So 47,000 divided by 28,000 let's just do 4700 yeah so that's a 60 69 percent increase in damage let me just reset so we can get our full stand back okay so let's uh keep going so first strong attack boom boom 41,000 damage now that we got the spiritual pressure boost we do want to proc the last rate on one of these people though that way we can get the crazy multipliers boom boom ah it didn't get him Okay. We, we, we need to proc. There it is. Pop. 76,000 damage. Okay, so it's not really the 380. Why was the damage so... Oh, because it was our soul bomb. Oh, that's... 
<laughs> no one has like 350,000 damage. I mean, to be fair, the first drawing attack should still be six hits. So, pop, pop, 40,000 times six is 240, assuming that we never proc the last rate, which is still really good damage, just outright. Boom, boom, 40,000. And if we had killer, like this, this number would be even higher, right? So it's like 40,000 multiply that 1.6. If we had killer, that'd be 64. Thousand without any status elements multiply that by six we're dealing 384k before any lacerate now let's just assume for the sake of argument we actually proc the lacerate on upon like the first the first hit multiply this by five multiply and then add the original 64,000 first strong attack will hit for like 640k so like the range of damage that you deal here because of that lacerate is pretty high and since we do have the disabler the rate of it happening is very, 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 very high. Like, it, it's just very, very, very high. Uh, let's see what we can do against this Ulkiora. Switch pressure boost is still active. Boom, boom. Okay. So, 200k to that enemy in the back. Keep in mind that we did not get any secondary hits here so let's just assume like the let's do 198k because i did see a, some 198s on especially on the alkyora right multiply this by 1.8 multiply this by three plus the initial 198,000. boom boom 1.2 million hmm <laughs> why was it 2 million on the other dude but then it was this did i do something wrong oh yeah right we didn't we, we don't have killer <laughs> and look at that we dealt the same amount of damage on this Ulkiora as well if we were to have killer which we don't but if they ever do like a Quincy for example then this is a massive amount of damage which is really 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 good and if we do start getting Quincy enemies in content like IT or IZ at the very least they're starting to release characters that in my opinion are worthy of actually being run and worked on like don't get me wrong I do think that the Ginjo is a pretty cool Quincy killer I do think that the Tekra Ruka is a really good Quincy killer Killer. but like let's be real here this Lisa is on another level like it, 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 it is what it is whether you like it or not that's just how it is but I'm gonna leave it at that guys grind no catch up with him because I have to stay blessed I wish y'all the best of luck in your summons and yeah yo uh, shout out to my boy absolute K this is his Lisa this is not my Lisa all right um I just wanted to do I, just, I asked him if I could put it as my name as a joke and he said he's like yeah go for it I'm like okay cool <laughs> but yeah stay blessed y'all I'll see y'all in the next one peace